Fantastic news. I can finally easily solo my favorite Pokemon. The details are over here, but Seven Star Sceptile is coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and after months for asking, I finally get it. Will I get Seven Star Coradon or Miradon to unshiny lock them like the 2020, 21 Zera Aura events? Maybe, but at least I have Seven Star Sceptile. So uh, you know what, that'll get me through the next couple of weeks. If it's your first time meeting me, hello, my name is Dan and my favorite Pokemon is Sceptile. So before we can talk about what Pokemon we are going to use to beat Sceptile, we have to talk a little bit about Sceptile itself. Seven Star Sceptile feels a little difficult to predict, but let's do the best we can. I think Sceptile is going to be a mixed attacker with its higher base special attack of 105 and lower base attack of 85. Even though Sceptile is technically a stronger special attacking Pokemon, I always think of it as a physical attacker with moves like Leaf Blade. Defensively, Sceptile is very fragile, with a base HP of only 70 and a glaring weakness of a base defense of 65. Its special defense of 85 isn't much higher, so you can still attack it with special attackers if you want, but physical attackers are looking like the way to go against Sceptile. That is unless Sceptile spams the move Breaking Swipe, which lowers a target's attack by one stage every time. Its hidden ability, Unburdened, is most likely going to be useless in this terror raid, unless Game Freak decides to really get fun with it and give 7 Star Sceptile the weakness policy held item. This sharply increases the attack and special attack of a Pokemon when it's hit with a super effective move. This would activate that Unburdened ability, so getting hit with a super effective move would sharply increase Sceptile's attack, special attack, and raise Sceptile's speed. If you're not prepared to handle these stat increases with something like Clear Smog, you could end up having a difficult time with Sceptile. My beloved Sceptile is Terra-type Dragon, which defensively is not very good. It has three weaknesses being Dragon-type, Ice-type, and most notably, Fairy-type. The Fairy-type weakness is the most glaring because Fairy-type Pokemon also have an immunity to Dragon-type attacks. We've seen how easy the Dragon Terra 7-star Charizard Terra raid was, and it might be more of the same here with Sceptile, unfortunately. Sceptile still does have some tricks up its sleeve, like Swords Dance, or some item shenanigans like we talked about earlier with the weakness policy. If you're watching this before the event, let me know in the comments what moves you think Sceptile is going to have in this terror raid. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now that we know what we're up against, let's take a look at some Pokemon we can use to take down 7 Star Sceptile. Here's a high level look at 4 Pokemon you can use in group raids to take on 7 Star Sceptile. Make sure to check back with the channel after these raids start on Thursday, June 28th at 8pm Eastern Time for my recommended solo build. Fairy-type Pokemon are going to run rampant against Sceptile, it has no coverage for Fairy-type Pokemon. If you did the Charizard raids a couple months ago, chances are you won't even have to build a new Pokemon. You can just repurpose something that you already used to defeat Charizard to defeat Sceptile. You might already have these Pokemon ready to go, but either way, let's get into each of these builds. Up first is a group raid attacker. Fairy Terra Tinkaton. I chose Tinkaton because its Fairy Typing gives it an immunity to Sceptile's Dragon type attacks, and its Steel Typing allows it to resist Sceptile's Grass type attacks. It's going to use the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. It's going to have max attack EVs, max HP EVs, and the final four in special defense. I'm going with HP EVs right now whenever possible because I'm not sure whether Sceptile is going to be a physical attacker or a special attacker. I think it's going to be mixed. If it ends up being just one or the other, we can adjust our EV spreads after the fact. Not too worried. Max IVs in all of our stats, except for special attack and an adamant nature, to further boost that attack while lowering our special attack for some extra attack power. The ability for Tankaton doesn't really matter. I don't think that any of the abilities are going to help here. Skitter Smack will lower Sceptile's special attack by one stage every use. This build will use this to charge our Terror Orb and lower Sceptile's special attack. If uh, Sceptile doesn't end up getting any special attacking moves, we can replace Skitter Smack with something like Fake Tears or Thunder Wave to further debuff Sceptile. Speaking of debuffing Sceptile, we're going to use Rock Smash for a 50% chance to lower the target's defense even when the shield is up. Super useful. Just like that, Swords Dance is going to power up Play Rough, which is this build's main attacking move. Up next is another group attacker. It is Terra Fairy Zacian with the Rusted Sword. I put this as a group build attacker and not a soloer because we don't have a way to heal ourselves, but we're gonna do a ton of damage. Our EVs, our EVs rather, are gonna be uh, max attack EVs, max HP EVs, and the final four in special defense. Adamant Nature to further boost up that attack and max IVs and everything but special attack. 
Thanks to our ability Intrepid Sword, the Sword Dog is going to become the Sword Dog in battle. It's going to gain that Steel Typing, also like Tinkaton, and we will resist uh, the, the Grass type attacks, or is that, am I incorrect? After a quick check of the Pokedex, I can confirm Sword Dog with the Sword is indeed Fairy and Steel type. Excellent. Player up is this built main attacking move. I failed to mention that it also has the chance to lower the target's attack by one stage, which is nice, because Sceptile could also be a physical attacker. Noble Roar lowers the target's attack and special attack. Could be nice to debuff the Sceptile, especially if it's a mixed attacker using both. Noble Roar lowers both for the price of one. We can buff ourselves with Swords Dance and buff all of our teammates with Howl. So you could have a nice pack of three Zacian, three dogs all howling up a storm, while you have a support Pokemon like a Fairy type Gardevoir or a Mew with some life due to heal up the team. The, again, the glaring weakness to this build, which will probably stop it from soloing, is it's not holding the Shell Bell. It can't restore its own HP. So it plays well with a support build, something like our next build, Support Florges. And here is that Support Florges. It is Terra-type Fairy and uses the Metronome Held Item. But why the Metronome Held Item for support Pokemon? Well, I'll make you wait for that a little bit. It has max EVs and HP and defense, and the final four in special defense. I'm doing that to spread out the bulk a little bit because uh, Floor just naturally has a ton of special defense bulk. Cause like you can see, without any EVs, it's already at 376. Depending on your allies, the ability Flower Veil could be really, really powerful. It prevents your grass type allies from being affected with status conditions for having their stats lowered. I do see a world in which grass type Pokemon are useful against Sceptile because again, they can resist Sceptile's grass type attacks. So maybe Flower Veil matters here, maybe not. Raining Kiss is why this build uses the Metronome Held Item. Raining Kiss restores 75% of the damage dealt as HP back to the user. With a metronome held item, if we use Raining Kiss five times in a row, it will have a base power of 100. Even without any EV investments, the floor just will be hitting for some pretty solid damage. You could also rework this build into a solo build as well. But since it's supporter, here is our support moves. We have Light Screen to increase the special bulk of Florges in our allies, and we have Misty Terrain to hack the damage from Sceptile's Dragon-type moves. Most of the people that you raid with on one of my streams or on my Discord server are going to be using a Fairy-type Pokemon, but in the event that they are not, Misty Terrain will help you keep those random allies alive. Lastly, we have Pollen Puff, which we can use to restore HP to a specific ally, in addition to those HP cheers. This Florges build plays well with others and can sneakily do a lot of damage. Florges is a gorgeous candidate for soloing Sceptile as well, with just a few tweaks to the EV spread for this build. Last but certainly not least, we have a second support Pokemon, and that is Alcremie. It's Terra Fairy, and its held item will be the Light Play. For our EV spread, we're going with HP EVs and max defense EVs, the final four in special defense. Once again, a calm nature to further increase our special defense while lowering our attack to give Alcremie additional special bulk. Max IVs and all of our stats except for attack. The ability Sweet Veil is very strong. It prevents our allies from falling asleep, but it probably won't matter here. The move Decorate is the key to this build. If you've been doing Terra Raids for a while now, this is no surprise, but it allows you to uh, sharply raise the attack and special attack of one of your allies. So when you use Alcremi in a group raid, you're going to make your allies into super powered attackers. Helping Hand provides a 50% damage boost to one of your allies as well. Surprisingly, Recover provides the recovery for this build, and Light Screen increases the special bulk of Alcremi and its allies. Let me know in the comments what Pokemon you are building to take down 7 Star Sceptile. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Decorate on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Sceptile season.